Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so this is the first of at least five examples on the difference quotient, and the difference quotient is what's up here. Uh, whether your function is called f or g, this expression here will be called the difference quotient. Um, and uh, this difference quotient plays an important role when defining uh, the derivative in calculus, which is like the slope of functions. That's roughly what the derivative is. Uh, but yeah, what I'm saying is that at the start of calculus, you'll be seeing this difference quotient uh, quite a lot. All right. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to give you, like I said, five examples, but to start, we're going to um, start with a very simple example, and that's uh, the function f of x equals x, right? Uh, this is just a line at a 45 degree angle from the positive x-axis, right? Um, and yeah, uh, we're familiar with this function. Um, it uh, puts out what you put in it, right? Okay, cool. All right, so then uh, f of x plus h uh, for this function f. Um, which is for this function f of x equals x, f of x plus h, unsurprisingly, will be x plus h. Yeah? So then um, f of x plus h minus f of x, the numerator of the difference quotient, will be um, x plus h, which is f of x plus h, minus x, which is f of x, and therefore simplifies to just h. And so when we divide this numerator of the difference quotient by h, we just get h over h, which is 1. And so um, this is the result of evaluating the difference quotient for the function f of x equals x. We'll see uh, progressively more challenging examples uh, as we work through examples 2, 3, 4, and 5. So yeah, keep um, watching. Take care.